Champion Way, right there is Sunset Plaza if you go that way, where this uh, person's going. And this is look at the very top of Lookout yes. Mountain right here, which Lookout Mountain is probably one of the two most famous streets here in Laurel Canyon. Now, this is where the doors lived. And it was Robbie Krieger and John Densmore, and also occasionally Jim Morrison. It's a really uh, an original house. It hasn't changed. Really cool, and you know, um, the story goes that uh, Morrison actually walked up to Apian Way, which is a bit up there, has a view of all of LA, and he wrote People Are Strange, uh, the lyrics to it up there. So that, that's the story of this house in this area right here, which, I love. isn't that great? It's an iconic house. And it's one of the best songs they ever did, too. Yeah, it really was. All right, like, <laughs> all the music we've covered, I loved it, everything, but I mean, the doors for me were pretty special, but the stones were too, but the doors actually lived here and wrote songs there and everything else, so. And uh, they're a band I really, really love. So I did get to meet Robbie Krieger once at the bank. We were cashing our check. I was cashing my check, and the line was long on a Friday. I ended up talking to him for like 15 minutes. He was as cool as you could be, you know? As I said, you're Robbie Krieger. He, goes, he asked me if I played music, and I was like, yeah, we, we got to talk and so. But uh, he didn't offer me a position. But, uh. <laughs> I've been really looking forward to seeing this place right here. And uh, we are coming to uh, one of the monkeys house. This was Mickey's house of the monkeys. And this is where Mo, a big part of the partying went on in the rock and roll community, Laurel Canyon, because he lived here. And John Lennon would come here. All the Beatles would come here. And Brian Wilson, one night they had a party and it was Brian, Harry Nielsen, and John Lennon. And Brian hadn't been out of the house for a long time, but he said, I'm coming to see John Lennon. And this is where it happened, right here at this house, and there's a studio. This is purported to be, we're pretty sure, uh, this is the house of David Crosby. Crosby. The infamous David. The infamous David. and. Here it is, from where we're standing right now. Yes. Looks like it's still original. When he was, you know, with the birds, and then he was very close with Joni Mitchell, who just who we're gonna go, we're gonna walk down, we're gonna walk down there. And six he or recommended seven. her to live, you know, he yeah. advised her to, to live on uh, Lookout. And we're gonna go down to the six, seven houses and kind of go by that. That's a really famous house. This one's really obscure. No, it is. Uh, this one here, it it uh, it took some looking to find it, right? Yes, it did. It did to take some investigation. I just find it so interesting. They were so close to each other. And then no. Mickey right up the street. There was no driving. Everything was no. just walking. No, you had to carry your guitar. No, and they would go no. back and forth. You had to carry your bag of weed. This is the Joni Mitchell house. This one, I I think a lot of people have probably seen this one right here. There's that iconic window from the uh, from the Ladies of the Canyon. Was that the album cover? It could have been. What was the song? Was our house? I heard that they wrote that song, Our House, after they went to Arts Deli. Yeah. Studio City, right down the canyon. And found a vase. And, yeah, and they yeah, found a vase right. and they brought it home. But anyways, this is like the heart of, this is a pretty famous house. I'm pretty sure everyone knows this place. No, this everybody knows. This is, you know, and it's cool just to be here and just to see it up close. Because even living here all these years, you, you, you just drive by and you never stop. So this was kind of like uh, Lookout Mountain Central. It, her house was really what, hers and Cass Elliott's house that was the one that she moved to were kind of the hubs here, I think, for a lot of the action that went up. Supposedly, Crosby, Stills, and Nash first played. Right here. Right here at this house. And now we're going towards the house that burnt down on Halloween, correct? Yes, 1981, Halloween. Halloween. Everything happens here on Halloween. Halloween, 1981. The fire in the 60s was uh, October 31st, 1959. Uh, you know, so everything is Halloween related. Wow. wow. This That's is an awesome picture. Yeah, wow, look at that. Look at this. See that and one? this is the, the Frank, the old Frank Zappa house where Alice Cooper hung out. 
pretty amazing, man. Cool. A nice little piece of rock history for our little walk here. So that's kind of, uh, this has been great, man. A great way to spend an hour and a half with my buddy Randy and his his uh, trusty dog, Scout. <laughs> and uh, the Laurel Canyon Rock and Roll Tour. We've seen a lot of stuff here, man, you know? Yeah. A lot of stuff that I, you know, I've been up here many times and I didn't know about a lot of this stuff or where a lot of these places were. Uh, so for Tim and Randy, I'd like to thank you all for coming and staying with us and watching our videos. Maybe next time we'll do Kirkwood, which is just down the street because you can't take all of this in in one day you can. or one hike. It's, uh, there's too much going on right here. But uh, if you like it, let us know. Subscribe to the channel so we can do more. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. No, I know. A lot you of things. Know. And you know, um, I was here in the early 80s. And, uh, you you know, just missed it. Well, but what I didn't miss was just the... You were here I was here man. for the downfall, yeah, man. Yeah, you were here for the downer part. Exactly, man. It was like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was here for the part where you got to pay the bill for all the good times, yeah, right? Yeah, no, you were here <laughs> in the 80s. The notorious 80s.